According to Minister Baliomonsi following the Kasese tragedy, it has been agreed that rigorous sensitization campaign will start to alert the people in disaster areas to relocate to lower and safer areas to reduce on catastrophes. But the major message that we give Ugandans that let us leave the hills and mountains and settle in areas where there is little or no risk of these kinds of calamities. All decided as people of Kasese to plant one million, six million trees. So that one, I think, is the beginning of our conservation strategy. President Yoweri Museveni recently sent condolence messages to the relatives of all the 16 families that lost their dear ones and each received 5 million for every lost member. Christopher Masereka lost 11 people in his family, including his wife, children, and a daughter in law, in a disaster and recollects what happened on the fateful night. Masereka is still nursing injuries at St. Mary's Hospital in Kasese Town, while his four children are almost admitted at St. Paul Health Center. Masereka put on a smile on his face for the first time since the tragedy after President Museveni sent 5 million for each family member lost and also sent 1 million shillings for each person admitted in hospital as a result of landslides. Other beneficiaries thanked the government for the support extended to them during this difficult moment. I appreciate the government of the Republic of Uganda to intervene in the, the how should I call it? Disaster. The, 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 the disaster that occurred in our community. Nyanziza, Yoreka Kutumus and Terebahura, Urekaka de Kamuko Edo Mana Kubana Batan, San Senyo, Catisendezino, Gendu Kura Wasi, Nengo and Mazak for Nengoye, Catangendu Kura Wasi, and Antikira, Batal Musomero. The area member of parliament, Musongola South constituency, thanked the government for the swift response and the assistance extended to the affected families. The disaster left over 16 dead and dozens hospitalized, but the majority were children. Baliomonsi later led the ministers to lay wrath on the tombs of the deceased persons and assured the people that government will send evacuators to search for the missing people. 